Hello and cheers. Welcome to Chicago Reacts. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be looking at Let's Game It Out. Uh, this one is, this is why a psychopath is a stellar detective. Um, I, I can see it. I can see it even just from the name. I have no idea what this game is. I do not know uh, what, what you're detecting. Um, but yeah, I can, I can see why somebody who's just like, they don't, they don't care too much about the emotional, uh, upheaval that they're causing could be quite good at solving crimes, um, or causing them. But then, you know, we don't, we see that all the time, right? We see, we see, uh, we see psychopaths causing crimes. Let's see one solve one. I think that will be fun. Also, I love Let's Game It Out. Josh is a lot of fun, and he is a chaos monster. So we're going to have a little drink whenever something entirely chaotic happens. Whenever he chooses the worst possible option, maybe. I mean, that might be a lot of drinking because he often does choose the worst pop possible option. Um, the first, we'll, we'll drink like uh, when he breaks the game. I'm curious to see how he can. I would say every time he builds something that's just super extra, but I don't know if there's going to be any building in this game. Um, similarly to conveyor belts. If there's any conveyor belts, we'll definitely drink, but I have no idea if we're building anything because I do not know what this game is. So, I'm excited to find out. I hope you are too. If there is something in particular that you would like me to react to, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Ooh, I just hit myself in the face with my headphones. I haven't even had any of my drink yet. Um, so yeah, let's go. Uh, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and also, of course, check out more of Let's Game It Out. And if there's anything more from him you particularly want me to look at, Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Hi, Game Josh. It Out. We're playing a game called Yay. Shadows of Doubt today. Shadows a randomly generated immersive detective simulator. Sounds like a mouthful, but it's a whole lot of fun. Because the game gives you an entire world to play around in. And goodness knows I love a game that gives me options. Just like our sponsor, Mechabellum. Mechabellum is what we call an auto battler. Which means you set up a bunch of units. In this case, a whole bunch of different kinds of mechs. And then you set them loose against another person who is doing the same. And then you sit back and watch the destruction unfold. And maybe even win the battle and then you do another round where you add more stuff and enjoy the destruction all over again and you just keep doing this until you win enough rounds that it takes down all of their points and then you can claim victory i played this over on my twitch channel and no joke i can't believe how much fun i had with it i mean i sucked at first but i got to try all kinds of interesting builds as i learned like using these little crawler mechs that were both sometimes effective but more than that there were so many of them on screen that they destroyed the frame rate sensational the game's in early and that, of course, is what's most important to Josh from Let's Play Access, so this will probably change. But for now, I'm drinking in all these lack of frames. Yes. And did I mention that this game has precious, beautiful nukes? Because it does. There was one round where I was nearly about to win against the other team. And then they put a stop to that by destroying my units with the rare and amazing double nuke. You don't see that very often. Needless to say, I lost here, but I had a great time doing it. So if this looks fun to you, you can check the game out right now using my linky in the description or check the pinned comment. And thanks again to Mechabellum for sponsoring. But enough talk. New game. We're going to start by generating our own city. And while I appreciate Ooh. the game trying to give me something normal like Buffalo, I think we're going to go with something more befitting of us. Like how about Tormentville? Yeah. And as for our character name, ugh, I don't want something normal sounding. Let's get that out of here. We're going to go with Sir Solves a Lot. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be on the case. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Ah, here we are. First things first, let's check out our amazing apartment. Starting with this. Oh boy, this is a lot to unpack already. Now, as mentioned, we're a detective and we're supposed to, like, catch murderers and stuff. I don't think we need to do any of that. I think we found the murderer. I think it's us. Yeah. But until we get caught by ourselves, I'm sure we can have a very lucrative PI career. And just like the memento guy, let's look around and see if we can find clues about ourselves. since at the moment we're kind of a blank slate. But oh boy, do we have a fun apartment. I mean, this alone just shows how much class we have. And as mentioned, all of this stuff is randomly generated, so you really never know what you're gonna find. You know, like a whole lot of nothing. Oh, and look at that. That's the world outside. Very neo-noir. Anyway, besides learning about ourselves and what our apartment looks like. Oh, nice subway tile. And ooh, nice snack jar. Yeah, I'd like to pick it up. Let's see. How do we It looks like the snack mix, you know? Also, it's so loud. I'm I'm turning it down a little bit. I know that sometimes people are like the balance is off, but I'm like it's so loud. Maybe my headphones are just too boss. But no, okay, but no, it looks like the like the Uts snack mix is what that looks like. I want bagel chips. We now. get into this thing so that I can have some candy. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Guess I won't be having some candy after all. That's okay. I'm sure there's something else in here we can have. Ooh, who doesn't love some tinned food? Nummy, nummy, num. That's enough of that for now. Sir Solves a Lot is full. I do love knowing that we can pick up random objects all over the place. And I do love every time the throw option appears. Hey, wall, think fast. Oh no, I got water everywhere. You can see it showing up on the wall. I'm so glad the game lets me do this. I'm at my happiest when I'm running around making a mess. Hey, window over there. Well, game of the year as far as I'm concerned. Unless somebody out there took my kettle. Oh! Oh, oh, I guess we're outside now. And what a world it is. Full of citizens just going about their lives. And I mean, don't mind me. I only fell out of my apartment, and I don't even know what <laughs> floor I live on. But more importantly, I've got some good news. My kettle is gonna be okay. Can you believe my luck, ma'am? <laughs> Oh, what? oh, oh, never mind. You can have it. I've got some errands to run. Ugh, okay, I think I lost them. Don't you tell anybody anything. In fact, I'm gonna make sure of it. Excuse me, I need to borrow this. Now, as I was saying, don't tell anyone. Oh, 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 I've only taken a couple of bullets. Oh my God, is everyone carrying weapons in this game? Help, the Karens are after me. Hey, lady, lady, help me. There's a bunch of people attacking me. I swear to God, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh good, I think they've been pacified, which is good because I'm uh, I'm doing a little bleeding of my own. Early access oh to the rescue, and then they all just kind of gave up. Some more than others. I'm glad that you can interact with so many objects. I mean, the kinds that I want to, because then I can take them and just make a mess anywhere. Look at that, the trash just falls out of it. Yep, just walking down the street, slamming this trash <laughs> bag into the ground, and leaving a beautiful- Alright, this is- <laughs> this is chaos. We can drink- it's chaos for the sake of chaos. We'll drink to it. I already know that we're not going to drink every single time because my drink is only so big and this video is still, I still got 20 Beautiful minutes Beautiful slug trail of garbage behind me. And that's not the only thing you can do with these. Boy, would I hate to be one of these ground floor apartments. Oh dear, the owner is home right now. Well, whatever. The no time. They're wandering around in a Wally -E outfit with a frying I'm pan. I'm like the present. Oh, hello there. Hey, Waldo, just letting you know I found you. Waldo. Oh, you know what? I was overthinking this. I've got fists we can use. Can you imagine being this woman, seeing this guy on the other side, and then a little bit of this? Oh my word. This what is was so that? much fun. Oh my god, I can't uh. stop screwing around in this game. Hey buddy, are you here for lunch? How about a trash can sandwich? And even though I'm being shot by people, I can still go ahead and search this person. Ooh, look at this. We got money and a key to their apartment, which now we have the address for. 802 Barrow Heights. Why, yes, I would like to plot a route to their location. <laughs> okay, let's see. All we need to do is follow the arrow. Okay, this appears to be the place. dum de dum nothing weird happening here. Just Taking the elevator to an apartment. If it's 802, I'm gonna assume it's on the eighth floor. Ah, <sighs> and here we are. Don't mind that's me. Let's look brilliant. all casual as we walk up to an apartment that's totally not ours. This must be the place. Now that little icon there indicates that we have a key already. Well, might as well let ourselves in then. Hello? Oh. So does it let you? Oh my god, you killed a man with a child. The worst. But okay. In regards to what I was actually saying, can you just kill anybody in this game and then get to their apartment? Or can you only get certain people? And in which case, is this guy that you randomly killed, is he integral to the plot? Um, what do we do? Okay, well, I'm just gonna help myself in, if that's okay. And now I'll duck as if it matters. Oh my god, why is your house so weird? What the hell happened here? What a trash heap. Hold your horses. How did you see me? Where are you going? Okay, I think we're okay. No, 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 no. Stay in here. Oh, now they're upset. Well, don't hit me. Stop that. Nice shirt, by the way. Damn it, I hadn't anticipated this. Okay, you like asked for it. <sighs> Okay, don't worry. They're only knocked out. Okay, where was I? This isn't suspicious at all I thought this was gonna be a nice safe quiet robbery, but it turns out instead that we just scared each other This is not how I like to do my robberies. Okay, we got to be quick. Otherwise we might get caught So we need to make sure to be quiet Another factor. Oh, you're awake. What the hell? How come you're dressed different? Are you in a disguise now? Oh my god, leave me alone. How are you so menacing? You know what? I'm just gonna keep searching your place even though you're in here. I'm here for goods. I'm gonna find goods. Can you just hold on, please? Well, thank you. Now I'm bleeding. Where's your bathroom? All right, wait, wait, wait. Come, no, come on. You know, the longer we do this, the longer I'm gonna be bleeding onto your toilet. Where have right, they gone? Hold still. 
All right, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's see. Can I drag you into the shower? I think you're moving. You know, you wouldn't know this by looking at him, but this guy is actually going to be okay. Despite what I've done to this bathroom and am still doing to this bathroom. Okay, let's be quick in this place. We don't want to wear out our welcome, especially when there's cameras in here. Let's see. What do we got? Remember your passcode this time. Count up from five. Boy, I sure am glad I'm not leaving evidence all over the place and all over his laundry. Anyway, what do we think this count up from five is going to? Oh, probably that's safe. Huh. You know how you live with a giant safe in your bedroom? Count up from five. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight. We did it. I don't know what that is, but it's someone else's, which means I want it. Well, time for me to make my- Seriously, did he just like randomly kill somebody who was important to the plot? Like, or does everybody have like- stuff that you can use and need? <laughs> a speedy exit. Quickly, let's get out of here. I'm sure I can survive this, Whee! right? What do you mean I hurt myself? Oh, uh, don't worry, we're still here, just in the hospital. And I'm now presented with two options. Pay the medical fees and completely recover, or attempt to escape without paying medical I mean, if his video about uh, that other, when we like started to own the city or whatever, if that one is any indication, he's going to end up in the hospital a lot, and then also, attempt to continue to not pay. Go fees. What do you think, game? Of course I'm gonna select escape. Alright, well, let's get out of here and... Oh, uh, okay, let's wait for this guy to leave first. Oh my god, when is this guy gonna leave? Hey, buddy, go away. Oh my god, you don't need to shoot at me, I'm still in a hospital bed. Also, your aim is terrible. Ah! Okay, well, I've passed out in the hospital. Oh, I'm in a different hospital now. Well, time to escape again. But you know, we're clearly a little under the weather still. So maybe we should sleep this off first while we have a comfortable bed. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, there's so many options. Time forward, that's what we want. Yep, that's the magic. So it looks like we can increment how long we sleep by an hour at a time. And I believe when we started, it was January 2nd. Okay, so we're still going. It's set to wake me up on January 16th, a full two <laughs> weeks from when we started. But if it can let me set that, why stop there? So let's see, how high up on this thing can we go? Oh, only one way to oh, find out. Take a while. Okay, so I've been sitting here cranking this watch farther and farther, and I've set this thing to land back on January 1st, which is about one year from when we started. Okay, set alarm and go to sleep. Well, I guess I'm asleep now. As you can see, the personnel coming in and out at light speed. It's also hard to see, but there is a clock on the wall going a little faster than time normally would. But oh my god, not that fast. Inexplicably, I can actually bring up my watch, and even though there's a little fast forward thing in the way, you can see how fast time is going, oh, which is not to fast say. At all. Not very fast at all. I've also made a very terrible discovery. I can't stop my guy from sleeping. I've tried every button. I've tried to grab every object around me. I'm essentially trapped in my own body until this year is up. So I guess I'll see you in however long this is going to take. Oh my god. And here we rested. Day after day, month after month, until the unthinkable happened. The game crashed. Or as I like to call it, when I loaded up my save, we had awoken early from our coma. Well, we can't have that. Let's get back to sleep. Oh, reported murder. 601 Novak Heights. Now the game says explore the reported crime scene, but that's just gonna have to wait. We've got a coma to resume. See you next year. <laughs> Okay, here we are. January 1st. Time to get up and resume our day. And it also turns out we're not wanted by the law anymore. Just the way I want to be leaving a hospital. Or apparently I'm in City Hall, I guess. I don't really know or care. Also, why is there just trash on the ground? And by trash, I mean this perfectly good synth milk that I can just drink right off the floor. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like City Hall. He's drinking on screen, so we'll drink too. Tastes like justice. <laughs> oh, and I'm nauseous. And my guy says, oh my guts. But that doesn't oh stop God. him from drinking loudly and obnoxiously. Here, you have this. It's, oh, well, I'm glad you didn't seem to care. Woo, here we are back in the Afternoon. city. Looking every bit as good as I remember. And now the game's letting us know there's a number of questions that we need answers to. Like, what is the full name of the killer? Are we gonna arrest them? But let's not worry about all that right now. The first thing we need to do is find the crime scene. So the one piece of information we do have is where the crime took 
took place, or rather where it took place on August 6th. I know that was like five months ago, but I'm going to assume the police haven't done anything. Now, if I recall, it was at Novak Heights, which I believe is this building right here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to solve some crimes. And in a place with such festive wallpaper. Okay, play it cool. We don't live here, so don't do anything weird while you're here, okay? My god, there really is just so much random trash everywhere. Wait a minute, did someone throw away some perfectly good coffee? The nerve of some people. If you're gonna litter, just finish your coffee first. See? I'm nice and hydrated and focused now. Okay, here we are. And I can't really remember what apartment it was supposed to be. So I guess we'll just start on the right and work our way down. So we have a couple different methods we can use to get in here. Before, obviously, we had a key, which we don't now. Or do we? Let's check the doormat and see. Nope, no key. That's okay, we have a couple other methods. But for anything we're gonna do, we should probably turn off the security camera. So first things first, let's disable this thing. I don't want anybody triggering this while we're screwing around, so let's sabotage it first. And now next, let's go ahead and deal with this camera. It's a little high up for me to hack, so we're gonna find the breakout box and take care of the whole system. There it is. Now wow. we just open this thing up and let's see, let's turn off the lights and wait, what the hell is the security door breaker? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Less looky lose. And finally this last one, security system breaker. There we go, much better. Cameras are all off now. Okay, let's get started on apartment 603. So as before, I could knock, or I could pick the doorknob, or I could possibly climb up this, going through the duct system. But I'm gonna go with my old favorite. You see, if you run at the door, the option quickly changes to barge. Here, let me demonstrate. Ow, my shoulder. That's okay, let me try again. Huzzah! Oh, uh, hello. You're not a murder scene. My apologies. Okay, let's try 602. We'll try knocking this time. Hello? Okay, good, you're alive. That's all I was checking. Now, hey buddy, can I try something on you? I've always wanted to see if this would work. I hope you're still there. Ha! Oh it my god! Works. Well, since he's already knocked out, I might as well at least look around, right? And by that, I mean, let's go ahead and raise these. Take his nice little coffee pot. And out it goes. Ooh, and my favorite, these jars. Hey, where is that guy? Are you still knocked out? Well, even more so now. And now like a banshee into the night, let's escape into the ducts. I am the most confusing burglar of all time. <laughs> oh my god, this is so bright and weird. I don't even know where I am, but it looks like we're popping into someone else's apartment. Hello? Hello? Looks like someone's just getting ready for bed. I don't think they see me though. Okay, now it's our time to go to work. Because in a matter of minutes, I forgot that I'm a PI, and now I'm just a common thief. A burglar with a very <laughs> specific agenda. Okay, I think I know Come how we're gonna on. do this. First, we're gonna take this thing. Actually, you know what? It's so dark in here. There, that's much better. Okay, and there's somebody sleeping in there. Here, I have a plan. Are you ready? Come here, snack jar. We're going on an adventure. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Oh, that did not work as intended. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's all happening again. I'm bleeding and everything. Ma'am, I was looking for a homicide, but clearly this is not it. Can you please stop? Are you throwing crumpled paper at me? Because I couldn't help but notice that this junk pile here just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Are you a sorceress? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Okay, look, She's I know we just like did the game, sunglasses. but we have to know. But I really am curious about this ever-growing pile of trash right here. <laughs> so let's just sit here and see how long she's gonna do this. And if it keeps growing this pile of trash, well, so far, so good. She's still spawning a pile of stuff. That looks like a lot of beer <laughs> bottles and beer cans. But I think this is kind of as big as the pile gets. Hey, but thanks for this. Ow! Ow, you broke my leg. Thank God I got that free floor beer. Here, catch. Ah, my face! And now for some floor bourbon. Wow, so this is what it does to the view, huh? Okay, I think my work here is done. She's still smacking me. Can't imagine why. Look, lady, I'm trying to get to my escape vent. Just calm down. God, why is my god? Oh, there he goes. Okay, never mind. We passed out. Ah, back in the safety of the hospital. Okay, let's escape from the law, shall we? There's no way this camera's gonna catch us. Not when we just walk out the front door and out the stairs. I kind of love that there's all these cameras. You can just see an outline of how many there are. But but it doesn't matter when you can just make a run for it. Pardon me, please. Bye. No, I'm not paying my hospital bill. Bye. Okay, let's see. Back to the scene of the crime. Let's go. Definitely taking the elevator this time. Walking is for chumps. Okay, where yeah, were we? So we know it wasn't 603, and we know it wasn't this guy. You know how we know this? because he's alive and just knocked out. Hope you have a nice nap. Okay, so let's go ahead and try, what is this, 604? Hello? Hello, are you in there? 
Oh, nice abs. We'll just leave them be, I guess. All right, final apartment. Wish us luck. Oh, it's open. That bodes well for us. Hello? Hmm, nothing. Everything in here looks clean. A little too clean. But I can definitely tell you that there's no body in here. Well, that's kind of odd. I'm almost positive this is the right address. Interesting. That's okay, though. I have an idea. First things first, let's head back to the hospital. And by that, I mean City Hall. I have a hunch that because we slept so long, the cops actually solved this one themselves. But in order to know for sure, we're gonna have to roll back the clock all the way back to when we first woke up and got that case. Okay, here we are, back on August 6th. And now let's go back over to the crime scene and see how it looks. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, there's a all police right. officer, so that bodes well. Okay, let's see. Yep, that looks like something all right. I guess now we know. This was the- that is an amazing time travel watch that he's got that he's got there. He just, by going forward in time, he can go backwards in time. I guess you can only have a single year. The crime scene. You're not gonna mind if I just go inside, right? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Let's go. Oh no, it's not okay. And they're not okay. Quickly, hide under the bed. They'll never know where we are. They'll never be able to figure it out. Hey, hey buddy, are you okay? And just like that, they give up. All right, it's time to do some detective work. First off, let's go back over to the front door and close this so we don't have any more problems. Much better. All right, let's go ahead and take a gander at the cadaver now. First things first, we're gonna take a print just like that. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and inspect the body. Okay, we're starting to build a profile. And here's where some real fun comes in. See this little pin right? here. Now we can pin it just like that. This is the crime Aww. we need solved. Who murdered this unknown citizen? Let's go ahead and search them to see if we can find some ID. Okay, well this is an ID, but we have some information on the entry wound. A bullet wound from a high caliber ammunition. And now we know that this information links to this. And also we found out that from examining the body, it looks like they were shot from a rifle. We can also narrow down the time of death, but we'll worry about that later. For now, we're just gonna pin that too. And here's my favorite part of the whole process. The string. Because now, just like any good conspiracy theory, we can attach string to everything. Next step is we need to find a name for this person. And they didn't have ID on- Oh god, what happened to your leg? I didn't realize <laughs> I was searching the cadaver so roughly. I'm gonna assume they were already like that. Okay, let's look around yep. for some ID. Oh, that's a lot of, like, footprints. Like, bloody footprints all Let's around the room. see. Road. If I were ID, where would I be? Are you ID? Work schedule. So this person might be Nicola, but we can't know for sure until we find their ID to confirm. Let's see. ID, ID. Ooh, a purse. Let's take a gander. Well, it looks like the victim is indeed Nicola. I'm pretty sure she's not gonna need this cash. And I'll just take this, because I have a problem not stealing. And obviously, we're gonna pin this one, too. And now that we know that this is her work schedule, yet another string connected. Oh, and look at this. Actually, I guess first I should say, look at this. NV paid. But more importantly, here's another purse. Agatha Pellegrino. Oh my god. I wonder if this is Nicola's roommate. A roommate who decided that their fashion style was make me look AI generated. Okay, now we're really doing <laughs> some good here. Oh, and look over here. Nicola's work ID. I'm less excited about facts and more that I can put more crap that... on this board. Right? We're just like... Just let's make this as visually messy as we possibly can. Oh my god, we're doing it. We're real PIs. This is all too much. I need to make a mess before I start taking this too seriously. Hey, and what's this? An antique vase. Looks more like someone's ashes. Quickly, contaminate the crime scene. And now back to the detecting, but with a different tool. Ta-da! This is our little scanner gun. It'll help us scan oh. for fingerprints to find out if there's some that shouldn't be here. So let's just scan around the crime scene and... Oh, there we go. Look, some fingerprints. Okay, those are Nicola's. What about these ones? Also Nicola's. Interesting, we found another fingerprint that the game is calling Type B. And the game does that when it gets a fingerprint that's not in its database. So it could be the roommate, or it could be someone else. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Raid the fridge. There's some perfectly good synth beef here. Mmm. Mmm, nauseous. And now to wash yeah, it down with some it. delicious synth milk. <laughs> okay, quick, we need to dispose of the evidence. Be gone with thee! Oh, right, there's a window there. Not for long, there isn't. Ha! Much much better. Goodbye, evidence. Okay, where was I? Ooh, more drinks. Oh, it's all alcohol. No, thank you. Oh, good news. We can vomit in a trash can. There we go. My vision is stabilized. Uh-oh, but now I smell. Hey, dead lady, you're not gonna mind if I use your shower, right? Of course not. Why would you? Ah. Uh... And now to further contaminate the crime scene by drying off with their towel. Oh, that's weird. I'm still bleeding. Probably from when I punched that glass out. Well, whatever. Okay, well, I think I've got all I can for now. Wait a minute. They already boarded up this window? I was here like two minutes ago. I yeah, didn't know the game impressive. does this. Now I even have more incentive to make a mess. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this window trying to hide from me. Not when I've got a license to use these guns. There's a 
window behind the door. But it looks like we have another fingerprint also on this crumpled piece of paper for type F. Also, no idea what this piece of paper means. I'm sure we'll find out, though. I mean, had I not taken that piece of paper and ejected it out the window, I'm sure we didn't need it. Okay, so first things first. Let's head on down to the gigantic grill, which is where Nicola worked. And let's see if we can't get any of these people to talk. Ah, uh, hello there. I wanted to speak to you too, unknown citizens. Just tell me, do you know this person? I work with them. That's Nicola. Suffers from alcoholism. Why is this the first fact you tell a stranger? Why are you yeah, so right? judgy? Can I have your fingerprints, please? <laughs> Not a chance. Well, I wasn't asking. I was just... You know, never mind. I think if you're the killer, I think you've eluded me. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do instead. Let's crawl into her place of business. And this right here looks very promising. It looks like an employee board. And that is exactly what it is. And based on this board, here is our new list of potential suspects. And we can't forget to connect it all by the gigantic grill where they all work. Which, of course, connects of course. to our victim's photo. Which connects to the victim. Which connects to this entire web of lies. And let's see if any of you are the mysterious Type F fingerprint. Let's go into the back office and see if we can find some fun information. Come here, security door. 2660. Hello? Hello? All right, let's see what they got in the way of employee details. Oh, thank God. I wasn't looking for Arna Gill in particular, but at least I know now that these employee records have thumbprints. And I went through every single one, and now we can decisively say that none of the co-workers are that thumbprint. Oh. Good Lord. Working at a restaurant, they make you take your fingerprints? That's invasive. Okay, I think I know where we're going to head next. Excuse me. Although, I will say, this town does kind of remind me of, like, Gotham. So, like, it kind of makes sense. Like, the fact that everybody's got a gun and, like, the guy is willing to shoot a bra in the hospital. Like, you know what? Actually, it does make sense. I bet in Gotham, all of the uh, restaurant employees have to get their get the fingerprints. Judgy eyes. I didn't come into your establishment to be judged. And also to make a daring escape and punch all of the rest of the windows on the way out. Okay, next step is we need to find that person that they live with. Which is to say we need to find Agatha Pellegrino, who is part of the Tau Enforcer Division that's located in City Hall. And rather than get there the old-fashioned way by walking, I'm just gonna vandalize every storefront until I bleed out. Hey, stop shooting mm -hmm. me. I'll get you if I can get close enough. Jesus, where did you get that gun? Ah. Well, that works too. Okay, and here we are back in the hospital. Now yep, I knew we would do that. I knew we would... I knew he was gonna get in the hospital every time leave without could. paying per usual and then head on over to what i believe is yep the tau enforcer division hello is anybody home well if we look no over people. the employee board we see agatha's name so at least we know we're in the right place and what might this be to all employees the door code to my office has been reset to 7666 regards somebody who never learned how to write correctly all right let's take a gander around shall we actually this is a police computer right maybe i can just get some useful information from this 7666 Yay! Ooh, government database. Now we're talking. Oh, uh, what kind of information can this give me? AA. So if we just select one random person and we print it out... Oh, cool. It gives me all the information I need on this person, specifically their fingerprint. Well, I really want to find out whose fingerprint matches old mysterious type F. But if I can do it while sitting down, as I just right? arbitrarily start looking up citizens, <laughs> why the <laughs> hell not? I'm sure eventually we'll find them, right? So hold, please. There we go. We found them. The person with this fingerprint. I only had to print out like 200 of these things to find it. And they live at yeah. 704 Novak Heights. Let's go pay them oh, a visit. Oh, okay. Which is only... One apartment above ish where our bad our victim lived. I said almost that our bad guy. This guy is probably our bad guy. And what guy. a shocker. We're back here in Novak Heights where the original crime happened. Except this time we're heading to the seventh floor instead of the sixth. Okay, here we are. Hello, Mr. Suspect. Are you home? Hey there, Shuffle McGee. Why are you dressed like Okay, so I think I thought originally that there was a child. Um, I think that all the citizens that you look at are just significantly shorter than you. Marty McFly, can I come in and look around? Why the hell would I let you in? Okay, no problem, I understand. Here, let me give you my card. Okay, where were- Oh, <laughs> oh wait, I think it was you I was looking for. I didn't think that oh, other guy looked was. like the right one. Hang on, stop. Okay, well that's definitely John Cole with the fingerprints we're looking for. And let's search this guy and he's got a hammer on him as well as interesting, some rifle rounds. You guys aren't gonna mind if I take a look around, right? I need to figure out what weird games you were up to. Like this one. Okay, now it's time to do some fingerprinting. Obviously, it's Mr. Cole's fingerprints. And taking a look at this thing. Dude has a Tiffany lamp. 
How to get a Tiffany lamp? It uses high caliber 309 ammunition. And that matches with our entry wound, which tells oh. us that a wound caused by a sharp object or blade. Well, that's funny. That's not at all what I remember it saying last time. Here, look. A yeah. bullet wound from a high caliber ammunition. What are you trying to do to me, game? Well, I don't think I'm going nuts, but I guess I'll continue with this investigation anyway. Wait, I can't use this, can I? No, nope. I can just put my fingerprints all over it and also hit people with it. I'm gonna feel all <laughs> sorts of silly if this is the murder weapon, because now I'm using it for ill-gotten means. Okay, you know what? I got a better idea. These guys are so sassy, we're gonna buy something from this locker here. Specifically, some of these handcuffs. It's time for a citizen's arrest. Oh, hey, fancy running into you here. Now hold still while I cuff you. Ha-ha! Are you gonna talk to me now? Hey, do you recognize this? Do you recognize this gun? I think it's what you used to kill somebody. What do you think of that, huh? Yeah, that's the spirit. Hey, who let you out of your cuffs? <laughs> Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm glad other people walk through here, even though there's a guy in cuffs and a rifle <laughs> on the ground, and they're just like, meh, none of my business. Eh. Anyway, you wait right here, and I'm gonna go see about turning this case in, because like I say, it reminds me of Gotham. As far as I can tell, the game is lying to me anyway. What is the full name of the killer? John Cole. Arrest the killer. I sure did. Well, maybe that doesn't mean what I think it means because I can't click on it. Do you have evidence that places the killer at a crime scene? I sure do. It's called this crumpled paper with his fingerprints on it. Oh god, I forgot I threw that out the window. Hopefully I can still find what I'm looking for. So let's see. If I threw it out there, that means it's probably right down there. Maybe from up in the building I threw it even farther away. Way. Hello? Oh, there it is. Found it. Well, that would have been embarrassing. Where does the killer live? Well, that's easy thanks to my handy dandy board here. Have you located the murder weapon? I mean, I think. Okay, moment of truth. Let's turn the case in. Case processing. Got the name right? We arrested them? Oh my god, we got everything right except for what the murder weapon is. <laughs> we did it! That's like amazing. Like, I love how he like manages to actually do the like what the game wants him to while also never once doing what the game tells him to do like not once does he do this in a way that the game wants you to solve it but he's solved i love that Cheers to you, we bro. We solved it. Except I'm really confused why that wasn't the murder weapon. Now, I'm gonna cut this game a little bit of slack, because it is pretty early access. And even with the game trying to misdirect me, it's still been a whole hell of a lot of fun. And hey, even if this wasn't the murder weapon, there's still time for that. At the very least, I can use it to murder all these windows. Ooh, especially these ones. I want to thank Mechabellum again for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to find out more about it. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'll see you next time. All right. That was fantastic. I enjoy that. Also, it is kind of fun whenever like this screen comes up and I'm like, oh, hey, look, that's me. <laughs> I don't I'm I'm not always I'm not used to <laughs> sometimes um, like when the suggested videos pop up and like suddenly it's like, oh, right, that's us. That's our channel. <laughs> I see, I see me. Um, but anyway, that was fun. I, I like him. Like Josh is a lot of fun. And like, again, impressive how he manages to like beat the game but also by making sure he does not do it in the way they want him to just cause all of the chaos i'm so there for it i would i just i need to play again i think i said this in the last one it's just like i need to play a game like this wherein i just actively play it wrong like i i am always so like oh i don't want to <laughs> lose i'm just like but there's no losing in this game. Like, you just end up in the hospital, and then, like, you can leave. <laughs> like, as long as you just don't... I care too much about what the pixels think of me, I think. That's a problem. I need to, like, not anymore. But anyway... Thank you all so very much for watching this with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If there is, as I said at the beginning, anything in particular you want me to react to, please go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Um, you can also join the Discord. The link is in the description below. You can, it's a great community, and you can also talk about um, you know, things that you'd like us to react to there. I'm not great at remembering to check out the Discord all the time, but I do try. Um, and... Uh, yeah, if, if you can leave this, I know you can leave a like. So leave a like on the video if you liked it. Um, it would also really help us out if you would subscribe to our channel. We are trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We are getting pretty close and it would just mean so, so much. And then you'll always know whenever we post new videos, which is every single day. So you could always be one of the first to know. 
which is exciting for you. Um, and if you can become a patron, we'd also really appreciate that. Um, you get a, a couple perks. You can get some extra videos. You can get, uh, like anime reactions that are unedited you can get them early you can also get priority when it comes to uh suggesting videos so lots of little fun perks for you as well if you become a patron um again we appreciate every single one of you so very much and i will see you all in the next one